Mm. Um, I mean, that's absolutely mad. Five nurses. Yeah, sack them. Sounds good. Five sack nurses. Them. No, sack the nurses, for what, God's what sake. Mean? They're not going to have the vaccine. Why on earth would you uh, keep them in a hospital? Uh, why wouldn't you keep them in a hospital? Because, well, it's not even... Do you want to talk to James about this? Oh, I don't mind who I'm talking to, but I'm saying that this is what's yeah. happening. Hang, hang on. No, no, I wanna, I'm, I'm going to put you on the air to do this. Uh, um, James, do you want to talk to, uh, to Lynn? James? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so... Lynn in Southampton, you're on the air. Yeah, thank you. Um, But five nurses being redeployed into the IT department. Yeah. Um, How how do you feel about that as nurses not being on the front line? Good idea. We should do more of that. Yeah, well, I knew knew you'd say that, but the point is, what is the point if they don't, they're not, they've been on the front line for two years, so what is your logic to them not being on the front line? Yeah, James, what is your logic to that, mate? Why would, you, like why would you want them on the back line? Do you want them on the front? On the front would, line? Would, yeah, would you like them on the back line and in the in the background in an office? Or would Some you of them, like them... Uh, not the good ones. No. Just sack them. The, 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 um, let me, sorry, James is, is, you know, he's a, he's a bit old and a bit funny now. Let me just, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, well, the, he's I'm the, a bit Ash, weird, you, yeah, you, you, he's a, you he's, a, he's a bit weird, I, you, I, you, but you I'm the producer. Yeah. So I, yeah, okay. I'm a producer. My name's Ash. Um, I, uh, I, th- I think, you know, the, the, the directive is that people working in the health service, um, and with vulnerable people should be vaccinated against this very dangerous disease, which is, very I'm dangerous. afraid, I'm not, listen, you're not medically trained, I'm not medically trained, but those people who are, yeah, but you've made, say you've yes. you made a statement that they're very dangerous. No. no. I haven't made that statement, have I? <laughs> no. And I'm not about to argue, because that is the statement as far as the government and the scientists are concerned. And I don't know about you, but I, I do know some people who have sadly died from this. It doesn't affect everybody the same way, but it does actually put quite a lot of people in hospital. If you are working in an environment... It's killed 150,000 people. Yeah, you're right. Sounds quite bad, yeah. Um, If you're working in an environment with people who are quite ill anyway, with serious diseases, where even getting this fairly, then, you know, you need to do the decent thing and be vaccinated. And why anybody who works in the NHS, who has the... Uh, time to talk to the people who know what they're doing. Why any nurse would consider that she knew better. And the anaesthetist uh, the other day who got such a rollicking from his colleagues mm. for, for going, well, I'm not having the, the jab either. Um, but, Lynn, I, I'm sure you're not really an anti-vaxxer. I think you've just got oh, I'm trapped. Not. You know, you've got no, trapped no. in this web of conspiracy theories oh, no, and I various other things. No, 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 I haven't. And that's really weird that you even say that to me. But um, Why is it weird no. that we say that to you? Well, why do you think I'm an anti-vaxxer? Well, because you're coming on and you're talking about it in a way that you think it's wrong uh, to say to somebody that, you you know, if you work in a place with vulnerable people, we would like you to be vaccinated. And you obviously think that's wrong. And so, therefore, uh, yeah, you I haven't really thought it through. Well, what don't I, didn't I think it through when it's an experimental medicine? Yeah, but we all have to do our bit for society. Yeah, There's a little I risk listen, involved. Oh. You're, you're more than welcome to yeah. come on and put your point of view I, and I think James over there, we, we just yeah. think that you're wrong and we disagree with you, but of course you've put your point of view there. And uh, People were in the I trenches, hope. they you know, they were worried to get their head blown off, but they still they didn't go, oh no, I'm not going to go over the top. That's a very good okay. point, James. Well, I'm, I'm not, go- I'm not going over Thanks, the top. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'd have no, been shot at no. dawn. Yeah. But and, and you you know and Good you've had you your vaccine. I hope both I hope both of you go over the top and get your headshots off because no. basically you're you're talking crap. <laughs> well, we're, we're you know, j- uh, let me j- Ash, hang on, hang on. It is interesting, Lynn, and I'm being quite serious, and I am James. That people who have your point of view talk the biggest amount of rubbish. You are too stupid to understand. Do not ring us again, and certainly don't go around threatening people in that way, because that is really the most appalling thing I have heard anybody say for quite some considerable time. 
Goodbye. The transmission with these virus, with this virus, it doesn't really make any difference whether you're vaccinated or not. Whether you're vaccinated or not, you can still transmit the disease, and everybody should be aware of that now. And mm. when people say that you're, I'm sorry, but you're it wrong. You're unvac- it, no, not as bad though. Not as bad. Wrong. Not as bad. You're wrong. Uh, you can, you can spread expert. it. A, no, I, no I, they will tell you. Up. Everybody, everybody is spreading the disease yeah. whether they're vaccinated exactly. or not. Those exactly. are the facts. But you spread it far more readily if you. Yeah, because you'll get it worse if you're not not vaxxed because you'll cough more and you'll spread it more just by physical. um, Yeah, Yeah, but if you've got. But anyway, I don't even know why we're bothering to talk about this, Amanda, because you have an underlying health issue, so it's not really as if you are doing anything wrong, and I'm I'm bored stiff with having to argue this out when I talk to doctors all the time. Uh, and doctors are very concerned. There are a few people, some nurses and a few doctors who work in the health service who will probably agree with you. Uh, but, that, that, you know, when you dig into it, you find they're not the brightest no. in the box either. Um, the vast majority of people... The, listen to me. You can't generalise. Ma- no, like listen, I, I'm, I can I'm not generalising. No. The vast the, majority the vast of the doctors majority, will tell you to take but, but James, it. Yeah, I, just... The vast... No, Amanda, me... this isn't going anywhere. If you keep interrupting, it's just going to... F- Friggin' annoy no, me. Uh, but because you so got, be quiet a minute and let me make the point, and then you can come right, back. And, and the I point is, okay. over generalising, I'm I'm generalising, if you like, that the majority of people in the health service, doctors, consultants, nurses, will tell you that they want everybody to be vaccinated for for a number of reasons, including a lot of people, if they were vaccinated, would not get the disease as badly as they do get it and wouldn't have to go to hospital yeah. because hospital... Uh, 95% are of pregnant up. women in intensive care and hospital are people who have not been vaccinated. vaccinated. I mean, that yeah. tells you everything. And I don't know why you people like you, Amanda, listen to the rubbish that is put out by people who just... Because that's what nonsense. those pregnant women did, and now they're in hospital. But it's not all rubbish, and it's not 95% of people in hospital that are unvaccinated. It was that's yesterday. 95% of pregnant women in hospital were ones that didn't have the vaccine. Well, the pregnant women, okay, if, if that's what you're saying, you've... you've well, that was risk, just reported, then, I mean. Yeah, right. but but in general, there is mm. not a larger number of unvaccinated people can in I, hospital. Sorry, can I just... Amanda, same. you are... T- I'm sorry to say this, Amanda, and I don't want to be rude, but you're coming on a national radio station... I know. ...and you are talking rubbish. No, and I'm unfortunately, not... You no, you are talking figures. rubbish. You're, you're just spouting You are talking rubbish. No, you're you are relating people. stories you've read on the net you no, are talking I, I rubbish you I've n- no i'm data. sorry i i'm you, sorry you are the you guys haven't. that are lying about the numbers not me you, no, you but you see like so, uh, so you're, you're talking rubbish amanda no, I'm not. why do you, you think many last question amanda many, last many people really respect oh, fate, you and get they... rid of her get rid of her i can't be bothered anymore with the stupidity to be quite honest of people who go against what why do you think the politicians, the, the scientists, the majority no. have asked people to have the vaccine. Do you really go with people like this who obviously do believe in conspiracy theories? Is that what it's all about? Because I just don't get why. There are, they're not, it's a minority of people, but they're quite a large minority, a few million people no. um, in this country, putting the lives and the livelihoods of others at risk. Why? Ash, why? Tell me why. Well, I mean, we already discussed how there can be more vaccinated people in hospital than unvaccinated because of the ratio of people vaccinated anyway. Mm. But if you boil it down, it just shows how much being unvaccinated is. I mean, it just... If you don't understand it, it's... you can't ex- you can't make them understand it, can you? That's the thing. No, you can't because you can't. they go and they say, "Oh, I've I've researched it and I've read the data." And there's more people from in, you know who've been vaccinated in intensive care, but that's just because we discussed all that. Yeah, but and anyway, that pregnant women thing says everything, doesn't it? Mm. They're unvaccinated, yeah. the ones that are going to hospital. I mean, that, that sort of if tells you, you the if whole you shebang. if you feel like um, Amanda and Lynn, and you believe that. Go to your local hospital. Ask to go and have a little look around and talk to the people working there. I mean, it is a, a small minority of people in the you. NHS who, well, you know, or, or talk to your doctor or whatever. But just, this is stupid. 
And you know when people say, do my head in, I know exactly what they mean now because it is getting on my nerves mm. that there's this plethora of people who just, for some reason, they've got onto this bandwagon, they think they're fighting for freedom, they think this vaccine is going to do us all. Ash and I have had it. Everyone we know has had it. Yeah. If you haven't had it, as long as you, you know, if you've got a medical reason why you can't have it, obviously I, that's very understandable. But you, you, people are trying to help you and you just say, oh, no, I'm not having it, this vaccine, it does this, it does that. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. can assure you, this vaccine is very effective. It yeah. doesn't stop you spreading it. It's very it effective. makes it less likely that you spread it. It'll make it less likely that you get very ill. And I just, I, you know... You feel like banging your head against the wall, don't Do you? Do it, really? Ron. You'll feel better. Go on.